Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through software crisis. So basically, these are nothing but the problems that the developers or the software engineers faced before the introduction of software engineering. So basically, before introduction of the process that we discussed, like previously, we gave we gone through an output on, on an outline, right? So the specifying the problem, designing the algorithm, writing the code and compiling and running. So before the introduction of this thing, when the software engineers used to write directly the code without understanding the concept or without understanding the requirements previously, like way long ago, before introduction of software engineering. So these are the few problems that they faced. So the problem that the developer faced while building the software. So the few software crisis or the problems that they faced. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. So the problems that they faced are the project running over the budget or time. So basically whenever a company accepts a project and another company gives a project, they will be assigning a deadline guys like around six months or three months or one month or two months like that. Or even some big, big projects take one or two years also. Okay. So, and even they'll be specifying the budget. So in this much only amount they'll be giving even your company, if the cost has been increased, your company has to bear it. In that way so there will be some agreements there will be many agreements guys okay so software was a very inefficient and low quality because of previously they they use they did not use to test so that is the reason why this problem has to has been arrived okay software did not meet the requirements because they did not follow the requirement gathering guys okay okay so if you write a small crisis diagram it will be in this way so basically this crisis or the problem which occurred is basically they are using the same methodologies which we which they used for previous projects even though they are success or even though they faced issues they used the same things so that is the reason why they are using same workflow same methods same tools so even though the increasing in demand and which causes the software crisis so basically these are the things that they followed the same workflow how they are doing the same methods which they used previously they are only using they are the same software tools so they are using the same tools the old version tools so slowly the demand has been increased and the complexity has been increased and challenge has been increased so basically at the end they ended up with software criteria so okay so as per company or developers developers used to use their own methodologies through which they faced many issues hence the introduction of software engineering was the solution for this whole problem guys so software engineering came like a spark and it changed the everything it now Whenever you give for a project to a company, they will be completing it and they will be giving some demos and there will be a lot and lots of process for a particular single project guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got some idea about the crisis with the problems that they, that the developers faced previously. Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be seeing some myths. Okay guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.